Yo, it's just a really small podcast. It's a quick one. Friday, fifteenth of July. Hello, Lauren Clark. <laughs> Hello, Jeff. I got my Raymond J. Bartholomew's on there for a second. Yeah, <laughs> there's an old reference for those who are 107. How are you? Well, well, oh, yeah, and. Uh, End yeah. of show. Uh, yes, no, <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be able to make it in this morning because I have to be somewhere ASAP. So what we're going to do instead... We're going to be so brief yeah, today. I dressed up for you. I'm wearing my going out clothes and then we'll, I'll scoot off and you can get back to whatever it is. But one thing I've got I to know... I am bedazzled this morning. Goodness oh, me, it's a much. bit of a rare honour. Yeah. <laughs> Well, as as I said to you, uh, the other things sometime earlier this week, yeah. you you quite often just open the door in nothing but a, a puffy top and crazy hair, and I go, well, thank you, Lauren, that's nice of you, but let's get down to business because I want to ask you, Laurie. Yes. What gives you a tingle? Is this our tingy segment? Well, it is a tingy. Initially, look, oh, from now on, yeah, uh, when we do a normal length Friday program, yes, uh, it'll be in place of what's in my phone. So it'll be the I last see, thing right. we do of a week. Yeah. But today we just have to make it all encompassing because no, we have no, no okay. time. Good. But can I just say, I, I just got to, because you came up with Tingy, mm. it annoys me because you were the first <laughs> to put it online, but you spelt it T-I-N-G-I-E. You would have gone with a Y. I would have gone with a Y all day. No. Every day of the week. Yeah, Tingy. No. Yeah. It's a, it's a cute shortening of something in a revolting way that definitely gets an ie almost an i with a love heart as the dot over it e oh we're in high school now i you know tingy. tingy anyway lauren clark what gives you a tingy well if Is we... it, what gets you tingy no what gives you a tingy surely is it i thought what gets you tingy Whatever gets you tingy. <laughs> <laughs> now, well, you see, I oh. have a million of them, but I, but because Good. I've been listening out to, I've had my tingy senses raised been tingling by the whole. We're going to be doing it as a segment. So you've had a lot of uh, tingy anticipation. A bit, a bit tingy anticipation. A ting, tingy antis. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> um, I the the one that got me recently was yes. um uh, when somebody this is an adult tingy and it's a bit of a kind of n- can a tingy be like a nervousy is it going to be good or is it going to be bad thing it can it can be like anticipation like it can be like anticipation oh. i can't say antis no oh. <laughs> you gotta get your you gotta get them right Stu. Right. um you know you, th- that thing of like if you are standing up and you're about to I used to swim, and you're about to swim a swimming race, right? You swam earlier this week. What are you talking about? I know, but I used to actually swim in swimming races at school, not properly, but you know, right? We in you know, we used to. I used we to go all races. We were forced to do that, and I used to feel a tingy. But I would say it was a tingy of this is exciting and could go well, but it also could go terribly. Before the race, you mean? Yeah. Well, that's just... Uh, that's a tingy though, isn't it? I oh, see, we've got to get our terms no, right. Look, see, last week we had a t- my tingy was, and I described a clean and busy fish and chip shop. Yes. That's different to like, I don't, but the thing is, to, to if I was to equate to what you just said, mm. it would be more like, uh, oh, I get so excited when I'm about to go to the fish and chip shop. No. Oh, okay. See what I mean? Right, right, right. Okay, so it's not... So we can, So if you were to say to me, so it's not just anticipation. It's, no, it's like no. a, a something sight, that makes you happy. It's a sight or a smell or a sensation. It makes that, you warm inside, gives you tingles, mm. or it, it makes you feel uh, what I was, comfortable. What I was going to say, there's an adult right. one, but I'll ke- I'll keep that not a huh? not in that <laughs> way, not in that way. Is like this for a, these, uh, the what were the subscribers called? That yeah. we're going to pay for the yeah, uh, extra right. information. We had, an, what were they we had an extra. <laughs> we had a subscription stream. Zip coming. out section, yeah. didn't we? Or no, sealed section. Sealed section. Um, no, I don't know. I don't remember any of that. I can vague, va- only vaguely remember what you're talking about. But uh, but you know what I'm talking about. We were, we're going to do, do it like ourselves. a slate plus. Yeah, but I can't remember what it was called. No, really gonna... stupid. Stupidly yeah, maybe. much smaller or something like that. Probably really stupid. Anyway. Anyway, so you've got an adult tingy. No, my adult, <laughs> the adult, the thing that I was talking about, which is just the thing that happens in like everyday life where mm. you go, oh, is when somebody sends you an email in relation. So you send an email and you're like, this is a big thing. I'm, I'm writing this and I'm going to get a big email back. And it's, it's like, this is, whoa, mm. this is like a, and then they write back, can I call you? 
And you go, oh, that was what I thought was a tingy. However, I'm revising my tingy okay. on the basis of your tingy definition, tingy which I agree vision. with. Right, okay. Right? I think you're right. And Thanks. I think I had it right. Can we just I have think... the, make sure we're recording this properly? <laughs> but in, in case there was a... Stuart, I think you're right. Thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, that's the first and last time that's ever going to ding. We'll see. Uh, anywho, this is my tingy. If there is a blank piece of paper... And it can be a blank piece of paper in a writing pad. It can even be like there's one in the other room from Film Victoria, which isn't even an organisation <gasps> anymore. Uh, with like the is f- it? No, well, it's called, you know, Victorian Creative or Creative. Okay. Oh, no, maybe that's for Film Arts Vic. Anyway, whatever. It, it probably exists. Who knows? Mm. But the same old artwork probably doesn't, right? And it's just sitting there and it's got – it's branded. It's kind of ugly and whatever. And – but if that is sitting on a clean bench with light, well lit, has to be well lit, yes. well lit over the top and there is a pen, mm. Tinky City. Tinky City. So all you need is a pad and pen and a, and a bright light. Mm-hmm. My God. So it's not like a low bar. That is my height, but that is my... I mean, writing. Well, I the love rest of the society. It's a very low bar. It's great. Uh, I know, but like for but there are other things that other people would say. You know, massive tingy, and I go, no, nah, no tingy there. Yes, but say uh, if you uh, what if you, if you were to share a house with you, and you wanted to keep you happy. Oh no doubt. How easy would that be? Oh, yeah, and silence has to be silence. That's the other part. Silence. Well, so uh, so it's writing. Right. The idea of doing writing, it's just even if it's just or not silent. It doesn't need to be silence. Like even if I get to write a list or draw a picture or something, mm. it needs to be. A serene scene. It's not like here – so take that scene, right, with the light and the pen and the paper mm. and have a party happening around me. Not the same. Don't get the tingy. Oh, no. You need, you it's got to be sort of solitary and serene in some way. Mm. Tingy city. Okay. Well, that's a little uh, pointer yep. to uh, where we have to go next to keep you happy. That's it. No, life. you want to keep me happy, that's it. But that's, you know, for one for the stupidly small listeners out Love there. Love it. Oh, I'm good. sure. I'm sure other people will have that. I'm sure there will be other people who will say, "Yeah, exactly." It's oh, a blank sure. page. It's a metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, you know. It's a kind of you, you. You can start something. It's the and there's nothing else to just. There's nothing else. I mean, there can be some other things, but just mm. in this area here, this is a new zone where there is nothing to muck up my my moving forward. And we're in different spaces because my tingy mm. for this week. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's a very simple one, <laughs> uh, and it, but it, it follows some similar themes. Right. And all it is <clears throat> is to walk out of the house mm. to my car. Yeah. The car is clean. It's been washed and it's clean on the outside. Oh, God, you're so different person from but, me. Yes. But, but not – so it looks sh- shiny now, but I know it's clean. Okay. And the interior, though, is clean. Oh, yeah. No, you do good Vacked and wiped and yeah. nice. But not smelling like poisonous uh, chemicals. No. But yes. I flicked the switch to on. I have a good destination to go to, by the way. Also, mm. it's day one of uh, a cricket test. Uh, so I'm driving a long period. Uh, the yeah. cricket is starting against a team that we're going to have a good contest with. <laughs> and all the duds this are isn't a, cu- this isn't a This isn't a situation. This all is a the fantasy. All the duds on the last yeah. couple of years that have wasted time on the ABC cricket commentary team are gone. The fire. And the old team yeah. are back. Yeah. And I turn the car on. Yeah. The cricket starts straight away. Yeah. It's not hot, but it's beautiful. It's So you don't want the aircon on, you just want the windows down. Mm. And there's a full tank of petrol. It's got to be a full tank of petrol. I love the so feeling of a full tank of petrol in the car. Do you? You, you know, mean the you feeling know, of it in the car you know, or you, the idea that it is both. Full? You know, a lot of people, I mean, I like everybody, I'm quite sure, hates going to Ugh. pay for petrol. Yeah, right? it's the worst. It's yeah. Worst. But I love driving out of the petrol station with a full tank. You funny boy. Mm. And is it just that you, what is that? I don't know. And call me an idiot, but I only use premium petrol as well. So do I. Yeah. Well, <laughs> You never know. 
And the, the, and no, the, I've been told my car will explode and stuff. Well, and I've also – look, I've been told by TV shows that mm. it makes no difference, but I've also told by other people that know mm. that it makes a difference and other people say it doesn't make a difference. Mm. For the sake of three bucks, yeah, I'll go with premium. Yeah. Anyway, so, well, that, well, I kind of so, like your tingy. Yeah, well, I, I kind of You know what? I think it would be difficult to – to dislike somebody else's tingy. Because tingies come from a nice place, don't they? They do, but um, I can't say I'm in love with your tingy. No, I'm not saying you have to. You don't have to love but my tingy. I get it. Well, I want to love your tingy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, We've come a long way. Well, yeah, to 400, 400 and whatever, three, three episodes. Today, and, of, uh, uh, <laughs> we, we started not knowing each other very well and now we're trying to love each other's love, tingies. Love each other's tingies. <laughs> and it sounded like you said stinkies. Now, Lauren Clark, I need you. I did not. No, that's what it, I heard at this end of, <laughs> yes, you end need of, me what? of a long week. We've had our 400th birthday. You don't need birthday. me, yeah. I do. <laughs> and I need you just to tell the listeners how they can let us know what their tingies are. Do you know, by the way, that just reminded me, just uh-huh. before I do that, of a piece of advice that I once heard about um, from, a, from a psychologist. Right. And it's about relationships. And it is as follows. You don't need them and you don't hate them. As long as you don't have either of those like feelings. No, that's it. With a partner. You don't need ah. them and you don't hate them. And that is that a good thing? And you should you should try you should try and never feel like you need them and never feel like you hate but them. But isn't needing someone, isn't that the great thing? Yeah, and that's what that's what, that this, what you're supposed to do that's is what this need person them. Said is you don't you don't need them, you don't hate them. Just internally you need to Say I don't need them and I don't hate them. Yes, and it, it has been the most controversial thing. I've never managed to. Uh, so I don't know. Agree now if I agree with the whole the concept need. of needing someone. Well, that's what this. So her argument is that you can love someone. And you be, can want love to be someone with them. completely and yeah. for the rest of their life, right. and um, you know. But pretty same, much want them around. I do love the, the whole time, dying uh, soon after the other person thing, though. I think that's a really romantic you're thing. You're an old softie. But you, you know, are. when they've been together forever, you and spend then your whole life going, rah, 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 rage, rage, rah. and then you, but you love, you know, Notting Hill and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Look, you're I gave, a, gave the pop thing up yesterday. Can we not give all my <laughs> secrets away? Stuart, uh, if people want to find us, they can go to stupidlybig.com, stupidly big on Facebook, and stupidly big on Twitter, stupidly big on iTunes as well. Give us the rating or a review. Uh, have a great weekend. Six. Hey, you know if I died? Oh, what? How long till after I died do you reckon you'd pop off? Three weeks, four weeks, <laughs> six months? Maybe a couple of hours, Stuart. <laughs> maybe. A, just maybe enough to say goodbye to everyone before your heart just stopped. <laughs> That's it. Have a lovely weekend. Thanks for uh, letting me get out of your nice mail this morning. Oh, thank you, Stuart. It's always a pleasure. Mm. Bye-bye. <laughs>